Hi, my name is Keith, and I'm here to tell you about a cool feature of Expo EAS Build, Automatic App Version Management. And it's a way to automatically increment your developer-facing version numbers, notably the iOS build number and Android version code, every time you run a build with EAS Build, so you don't have to remember to do it yourself. If you've built mobile apps for a while, I may be familiar with the infamous ITMS 90189 redundant binary upload error. It comes in an email a while after you submit your app to App Store Connect to let you know that you've already used the build number you just uploaded. To fix it, you have to go back and update your build number, rebuild your app, resubmit it, and then hope it works out. You'll get a similar error if you uh, also reuse a build number on the Play Store. App version management is a great way to avoid that. To demo this feature, we have a mostly blank uh, Expo project set up here. We created this project with npx create expo app and then set up the EAS JSON file with EAS build configure. To enable version management, we go into the EAS JSON and we add the app version source uh, key here under the CLI key and we set it to remote. And then under the build profile where we want the version number to increment each time we build, we set auto increment to true. And you may notice this nice auto complete I have here. This comes care of the excellent Expo Tools Visual Studio Code extension, highly recommended for this. So let's save that file and then let's go ahead and build our app. We're gonna use the profile that we added the auto increment to and we're gonna build for iOS. Run that. Finish with the login prompts here, let it submit the app. And done. So if you scroll back up here, and this is something I really like about this feature, is that it tells you exactly what it's doing right away. You know right away if it's working, because it says the incremented build number from two to three or from wherever to wherever. So uh, we know that our automatic versioning is working. Since our app version source is remote, this version number is stored and synced from Expo servers. Uh, so it's not checked in the code. Anybody who checks out the code will get the latest version number as long as this remote versioning is configured. Uh, and if we go to uh, the build dashboard, you can see right here, if I refresh the page, we should have a new build number in there and a new build. So it's working. Another warning you may have seen fly by in the console right here, iOS build number field and app config is ignored when version source is set for remote. So once you have remote version source on, your build number and version code are no longer checked in, so they can be safely removed from your app JSON. If you leave them in there, it's no harm. It's, it's going to favor the remote version. What's also important to note here is that uh, if you're referring to the build number or version code in your code using constants.expo config, you'll no longer want to do that once remote versioning is set up because Constance at Expo config reads from the app JSON or app config JS file. Instead, you'll want to use the Expo application package. And this has an application.native build version property. And this reads the build version directly from the native project. Suppose you have a project where you've already been incrementing the build number or version code manually. And you don't want to start over from version one or two. You'd like to start from whatever version you left off on. You can change the um, build number or version code anytime, and you'll use the EAS build version set command. Choose your platform, and we can set a new version number here, and it'll start incrementing from there instead. So I'll set it to 1000. I'll run my build again, and you'll see right away it went from 1000 to 1001. Finally, suppose you like the auto incrementing version number, but you do not want to store it on Expo servers. You would like to continue to check in that value by using your app JSON config. You can go to EAS JSON and set app version source to local. And when you do this, it will no longer sync with Expo servers. It will instead, every time you build, simply take the build number or version code in your app JSON file and increase it. And then you can check in that file to keep your version numbers up to date. And that's it for app version management. Thanks for watching. You can learn more at docs.expo.dev and may your binary uploads never again be redundant.